Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Nightwing here, doing the review for Spider-Man 3 for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, Spider-Man 3 for the Nintendo Wii was basically designed with just the Wii mode in mind. There are different supervillains that are in this, like Mobius, Lizard, Sandman, uh, New Goblin from the movie, and of course Venom. What we're mainly going to talk about is the web slinging. There we go. The web slinging was designed for just the Wiimote. Left hand for the nunchuck, right hand for the Wiimote. Now you can use both for a gesture system. Like you wave it up and down to open doors or uh, rescue people. The good aspects of this game. The visuals are on par or even better than the original Xbox. They are, however, not next-gen graphics. I'd say GameCube at its best. The black suit is real cool. It's very powerful. Um, it's fast. Its health bar is the highest you can get. And he gets wicked angry and has some real cool catchphrases. The red suit is the Spidey everybody loves, um, but he's weak. The Spider-Man you're seeing right now, his health bar is after the game. Now, in this game, which differs from the other versions, you can switch between the black and the red suit with the touch of the command cross, either left or right, which is a cool feature. As I said before, he's wicked strong. He just jumped off a building and dented that. It's pretty cool. And he gets some really good dialogue when he's angry. Uh, the city can look like crap if you don't clean it up. You see trash and everything there. This is actually your map or your HUD display of city crime. If the four gangs gain too much control of the city, the, your city's going to look like crap. Yeah. So you got to try to help the police out the best you can. Which is an original aspect of the game, and it's pretty cool. There you see Spidey Web Sling again. Uh, New York, this time, is actually designed after New York City. I've actually been there, so this is a pretty good comparison of it. They did say you could go into the sewers and uh, the subway, but those are just missions. It's not really free roaming in that area. In fact, they're closed. The camera missions are okay, but they're very short. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is called the Hero Upgrade System. Think of it kind of like RPG level upping. If you don't level up Spidey, then he's going to be real weak. You cannot level up as the Black Spider-Man. Now we'll get into the bad aspects of this game. The missions. That's right, they're back. The ones you love to hate. Protect him, stop this car, deliver fruit pies, and if you don't, well, you fail the mission. So not really much original ideas there. Just Spidey 2 with a new paint job, basically. The black suit. As cool as it is, it's sometimes a pain to get off. Moving the Wiimote and the Nunchuck in succession when you've been wearing it too long it takes a while to get out. The fighting mechanics, not much there. Camera control, controlled with the Nunchuck, tilting left or right, up or down, you get the idea. The fighting system, you swing the remote. You push the A button for a strong attack, but you just swing the remote. Boss battles, not much better. Gesture systems again with the Wiimote to beat the bosses. So. In closing, I gave this game a 6.5. Thanks for watching. Check out Legends. Peace.